quality of sport. The man is incredible. The thrill of victory. Absolutely the best. And the agony of defeat. Oh, look at him go! Oh, baby. Oh, no. This is ABC's Wide World of Sports. California is the site for the classic Rose Bowl, and the fans are generating some noise as they get ready for this game. And it is perfect football weather here for today's matchup between the Oregon Ducks and the thundering herd of Marshall. And here comes the thundering herd. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. And guys, there is no better way to start off a new year than right here with some good old college football. Neither team seems to have an advantage in this game. Kirk, how about your prediction? Well, in a close matchup like this, I always like to look at the individual. Oregon has a sensational quarterback on their side who's a true leader. I think his presence on the field gives them a slight advantage. And Lee, I think that's going to be the difference in an extremely close game. I can tell you one thing I know about this game. Marshall is set to have a terrible game offensively. I think they're going to turn the ball over three, maybe four times against this talented defense, and I think they're going to lose this ball game, Kirk. Thanks, guys. Let's head down to the field. The two teams are lined up for the coin toss. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. Kicks it off. Number 27 fields it at the three. Start this drive at the 25 yard line. Oregon lines up defensively in a 3 4. Play action. He unloads it. Complete. And he's tackled at the 35. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. At second and inches. Ball on the 35. Oregon going with a three-man front. Set. Cut, hot. Cut. 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 Number seven gives it up the middle, tries to shoot, tackle at the 36-yard line. The running back gets the first. And 10. Ball on the 36. Oregon comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Number seven back to pass. He's looking for his man. Picked off. Spins up field. Not a good decision there. Why do he even throw that pass? Well, this is a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's size. Good job of disguising coverage as well. This cornerback is a gamer. He comes to play every game. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36. Oregon sets up in the eye. Here's the pitch left side. Gets that one. He spins around. Number 21 brings him down at the 35. Maybe got two feet on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 35-yard line. Number two is a deep back as they line up in the eye. Number 12 steps back to pass. Throws a lob pass out to the right. Number 91 with a takedown at the 32. About three yards that time on the screen. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 32. One man backfield. 
Drops back to pass. Steps up. Let's it fly. Number 81 with a catch. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. It's first and ten. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. Defense lines up in a 4-3. Number two gets it off. Number 21 brings him down at the 15-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Second and seven coming up here. Sixth play of this drive coming up. Number two lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Back to pass. Lofts this one out to the left. Number two has it. Couldn't get anything out of that. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 15. They'll bring in their dime package. The ball carrier. Nothing doing. Tackled for a loss on the play. How about that defensive stop? That's a great effort by the defensive line there. Anytime you can get into the backfield and disrupt the timing of a run like this, you're going to come up with a big stop. Fourth and eight coming up now. Ball on the 16 yard line. Number 25 lines up for the field goal. The kick is up. And it's through the uprights. Oregon, ready to kick this one off. Number 27 and number 11 set to return. Sends it sailing downfield. Number 27 fields it in the end zone. They'll get the ball here at the 22. The thundering herd come out in the shotgun. Number 24 on the delay. Number 19 with a takedown at the 22-yard line. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. And second down and 10 to go. Ball of the 22. Oregon lines up with five defensive backs. He rolls out to the right. Number 39 comes away with a sack. A big-time play by the defense. Well, he just really overpowered the offense there. He simply used power to slide right through and come up with a pressure to bring down the quarterback. Third and 11 coming up here. Ball on their own 21. Oregon brings in their nickel package. He drops back. He's in trouble. Fires across the middle. And it's caught. And they finally make the stop at the 46. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. Let's have another look at that pass, guys. Well, Brad here is just a great throw by the quarterback. He does a great job of getting the ball to the receiver quickly. Therefore, the defense doesn't have enough time to break on the ball. First and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. The Ducks bring in the nickel package. Drops back to pass. Flag on the play. 
Number 80 hangs on to it. They'll bring him down at the 49-yard line. Holding, Holding on the on offense. offense. 10-yard Ten Ten penalty, penalty. still first pass. First and a mile. Ball on the 36. The thundering herd come out in the ace formation. Let's it go. And he can't make the catch. And that'll be the end of the first quarter with our score. Oregon, three. Marshall, nothing. Gold Standard turns platinum, the New York Times. Hands down, the car of the year, the Detroit News. The interior is near perfect, Business Week. Hey, who you calling near perfect? The 2002 Camry. and wannabes. Dude, that's harsh. I mean those chicken fingers. Pre-processed, merely posing as spicy, all dressed up in sauce, but nothing of real substance underneath. You gotta try new KFC Blazing Crispy Strips. Real white meat chicken, freshly breaded, double marinated with twice as much spice for that extra spicy kick. For a limited time, KFC's got new Blazing Crispy Strips. Get three strips, coleslaw and a biscuit for only $2.99. Everybody in. I think the party's out here. <laughs> there's fast food, and then there's KFC. You're watching ABC's Wide World of Sports. Ready to start quarter number two. It's second down and a long ways to go. Fifth play of this drive coming up. The Ducks use a four-man front here. Number seven drops back. Looking. He wants it all going long. Incomplete pass. And he overthrew that one badly. Whoa. The receiver's fast, but he's not that fast. Third and long. This is the sixth play of this drive. Number seven with three wide receivers. Number seven drops to throw. Throws it out there. Complete. And he's taken down at the 49. And that was a good call to go to the screenplay in that situation. Fourth and seven. Ball on the 49. Marshall lining up the punt. Number 15 signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 11-yard line. They'll go to work at the 11. The thundering herd put four men up front. They run a counter. Nice spin move. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Good job there by the defense. They brought the blitz that time and made it difficult for the linemen up front to pick everybody up. Second and 11. Ball on the 10-yard line. Marshall lines up defensively in a 3-4. Gives it up the middle. Number 21 brings him down at the 12. They'll get two on that one. Third and nine. Ball on their own 12. High formation here. Back to pass. He pumps once. And it's incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Right. 
Fourth and nine coming up here. Ball on the 12-yard line. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. Number 88 calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at midfield. Take over at the 50 yard line. Oregon brings in their nickel package. Number seven back to throw. He lets it go. Number 31 with the interception. Number 71 with a takedown at the 47. That last INT gives this defense two on the day. Not a good throw there, and the quarterback needs to make better decisions. Right. It's first and ten, ball on the 47. Marshall comes out in a 3-4. Number 12 drops back to pass, rolls right. And it's caught, and he's going to lose yards on this one. Loss of about two. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 49-yard line. Oregon comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Two on the give. And they make the stop at the 44-yard line. The halfback gets the call and picks up five. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 44-yard line. The Ducks go with the eye formation. Number two, the ball carrier. There's a flag down. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Number 15 brings him down at the 34-yard line. Holding, Holding. on the on offense. offense. Ten, Ten yards on the top of the Still third down. down. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on the 49. Marshall lines up with five defensive backs. Drops back to pass. Tackle at the 41. Nice game there, but not enough for the first. Well, I don't think they're too concerned with getting the first down at this point in the game. Otherwise, they would have thrown for it. Fourth and four coming up on this play. Ball on the 41-yard line. Oregon lining up the punt. Number 88 signals for a fair catch. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. Number seven has four receivers lined up here. He passes it, and they couldn't hook up on that one. Number 80, the intended receiver on the play. About two minutes before halftime. Oregon lines up defensively in a 4-3. Number seven, back to pass. He throws it. Number 40 makes the catch. Number 24 with a takedown at the 46-yard line. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. First and 10, ball on the 46. One man backfield. Number seven steps back to pass. Rifles it right side. Number 13 with a catch. 
First down, what a pass. Boy, that was a big-time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. It's first and ten, ball on the 34. 4-3 Four, defense. Number seven, options out to the right. Number 16, brings him down at the 34. Marshall calls a timeout, and that was their first timeout. Second and 10. This is the fifth play of this drive. Oregon comes out in a 4-3. Number seven drops to throw. Complete. Number 42 with a takedown at the 23-yard line. A nice pass play there. Let me tell you, the reason why this play worked was the fact that the defense didn't do a good job of knocking the wide receiver off his route. You got to jam him at the line and throw their timing on. It's first and 10. Sixth play of this drive coming up. They line up in the shotgun. Number 24 gets it on the inside. And he's taken down at the 18. The Thundering Herd are going to take a timeout. And now they've only got one remaining. Second down and five. Ball on the 18. Oregon lines up defensively in a 4-3. They get it out there on the top. Gets past the tackler. Number 16 brings him down for a loss. He didn't get much on that play at all. Brad, the defense had that play read and sealed it off from the get-go. He drops back. Looks. Fires a bullet over the middle. And he's tackled at the 18. They couldn't get the first down. Well, here they were hoping to get a few extra yards after the catch. Give the defense credit. They held him short. Fourth down and five. Ball on the 18. Number 36 is lined up for the kick. It's up. And it's good. Marshall to kick. Kicks it deep. Number 80 fields it in the end zone. Can't wrap him up. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. The Thundering Herd line up at a 4-3. Number 12 gives it up the middle, and they make the stop at the 23-yard line. A pickup of about three. That'll do it for the first half here. We're tied as the players head to the locker room. Dude, you could totally do it. Hey, you ain't Spider-Man. But if you've got a Dr. Pepper, you've got a chance to win a trip to New York City for a private Spider-Man party or thousands of other prizes. Look on specially marked packages for your chance to win instantly. The Dr. Pepper Spider-Man game. Only from Dr. Pepper. I have an apology to make for knitting you a present rather than buying something you'd enjoy. I thought each present was a little piece of me, a person who, I'm now told, isn't very good at knitting. I'm sorry. This year, I'm shopping at Staples. You should, too. They have the exciting technology gifts everyone wants. And this month, you can get free delivery from Staples.com. But you can't get a macrame mouse pad. Holiday shopping done at Staples. You're watching ABC's Wide World of Sports. Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. Kicks it deep. 
Number 15 fields it in the end zone. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. Two tight ends here. And he's taken down at the 21-yard line. So the quarterback keeper gets maybe a yard. Second and nine, ball on the 21. Number 12 lines up with five wide out. He unloads it, and that one's fallen incomplete. Now it's third and nine coming up, ball on the 21 yard line. The Thundering Herd bring in their dive package. Number 12, back to throw. Under pressure. And this one's going to get intercepted. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. First and 10, ball on the 45. Number seven with three wide receivers. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. Back to pass. He's under pressure. He's looking. He's looking for his man. Batted away. Great defensive play by the cornerback. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 45. Marshall comes out in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Let's it fly. Incomplete pass. The pass ball's incomplete. Number 40, the intended receiver on the play. Third and 10. Ball on the 45. Number 7 lines up in the shotgun. Set. Put on. He drops back. Let's it go. Number 24 has it. And they hit him in the backfield. A four-yard loss. It's fourth down and 14. Ball right around midfield. The Thundering Herd line up the punt. Number 15 calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 15-yard line. They'll take over at the 15-yard line. Number two, alone in the backfield. Handoff up the middle. A little juke. Tackle at the 24-yard line. That's a good nine-yard gain. Second and one coming up here. Ball on the 24-yard line. Number two is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He's out to the 30, to the 40. Number two brings him down at the 46. On defense, it's all about instincts. It didn't look like their instincts worked too well on that play. <laughs> You're right, Lee. There was a lot of running room there. It's first and 10, ball on the 46. Four-man front by the defense. Number 12 drops back. He fires right. Tipped away. 
Great defensive effort that time. Did you see how that safety played that ball? That was a beautiful play. Second and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Ace backfield. Back to pass. Under heavy pressure. Throws it out there. Number 81. Hangs on to it. And a nice pickup through the air. I'll tell you what, fellas. I love this kid's throwing ability. He's got a quick release, and he's very accurate. Right. It's first and ten. Fifth play of this drive coming up. The Ducks line up with three wide. And they make the stop at the 35. Nothing going on that one. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 35. Number two lines up in a deep back. Eye formation. Stiff arm, and he's tackled at the 32. He's got an inner brace, brace mask, mask, mask on the defense. On the defense. Five yards, third down. Third and two coming up here. Ball on the 27 yard line. The Ducks go with the eye formation. They'll run the option. Now he pitches it. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 24. A pickup of about three. First and ten. Eighth play of this drive coming up. Ace backfield, number 12, drops back to pass. He lets it go. It falls incomplete. Number four, the intended receiver on the play. So it's second and ten. Ninth play of this drive coming up. They come out with a big set. Number 12 steps back to pass. Looking. Here comes the pressure. He pump fakes. And it's knocked down. That was a crucial defensive play in the end zone. That one's worth another look. Down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 24 yard line. Marshall brings in their nickel package. Drops back to pass. Looks. Gives a little pump fake. Rifles it over the middle, and it's knocked away. Well, he was looking to the end zone on that one. I'll tell you what, the defense was not about to let him score there. Fourth down and 10 yards to go. They're in field goal range. They're going to try a long field goal here. The kick is up. And it's through the uprights. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is a solid kicker. Kick this one off. Number 11 and number 27. Back deep to return. Not a real deep kick. Should be returned. Number 11 fields it at the two. Missed tackle. Kickoff returns at 19 yards. 
They'll start this drive at the 20 yard line. They line up in the shotgun. He drops back. He passes it, and it's caught. Number 22 with a takedown at the 22-yard line. A couple of yards that time on the screen. Second down and eight. Ball on their own 22. The thundering herd. Line up with four wideouts. He throws it. Batted away. And he threw that one up for grabs. This is one of the things that drives a coach crazy. You don't want to do anything stupid. Make mental mistakes that may cost you the ball game. Third and eight. Ball on the 22-yard line. Marshall lines up with three receivers. Number seven drops to throw. He's looking. He's in trouble. And they get the sack. Three and out. Yeah, the defense did a great job of winning that series. to go. Ball on the 11. Number 16, back to punt. Number 15, signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 46. Get the ball here at the 46. Marshall lines up with five defensive backs. Number 12, back to throw. He unloads it. Number eight makes a catch. He can provide some excitement. He sure can. And the thing that makes this play successful is the fact that he's on the same page with his quarterback. Sometimes you see wide receivers that don't have their heads in a game and they make stupid mistakes. You're right. Then they complain about not getting the ball. Right. Let's see if they can punch this one in. <laughs> Number 12 gives it up the middle, and he's in there. Touchdown. The halfback punches it in for the score. Well, that was a nice play. Let me tell you what. He had good blocking up front. A halfback who runs hard. What else can you ask for when you're inside the 10-yard line? Just a few seconds remaining now in the third quarter. And our score, Oregon 13, Marshall 3. Oregon lines up for the kickoff. And they'll be returning this one. Number 27 fields it at the two. Right. They'll go to work at the 23. The Ducks come out in a 34 defense. A little handoff. He spins. Number 31 brings him down at the 26-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. Second and seven. Ball on the 26-yard line. And that'll bring this quarter to an end.
Folks, we've played three, and our score is Oregon, 13, Marshall, three. Dinner's here. <laughs> Now Domino's delivers the excitement of NASCAR. And for more excitement, get two medium one-topping Domino's pizzas for only $10.99. Guys. Get the door. It's the official pizza of NASCAR. Hall of Famer. Top seed. Choreographer. Mastermind. Hero. World champion. Pilot, all pro, entertainer. What do you want to be when you grow up? Rated E for everyone. PlayStation 2, the only place to play. You're watching ABC's Wide World of Sports. Second down and seven to go. Ball on the 26. Number seven with four wide receivers. <laughs> Makes a move. Number 19 with a takedown at the 29. Three yards there on the play. Third down and four coming up on this one. Ball on the 29. They come out in a goal line set. the middle spin move tackle at the 31 yard line they denied him the first down on that run Brad that's what I call a big time effort by the defense now it's fourth down and two yards to go ball on the 31 yard line do or die time on the give. Number 44 brings him down at the 32-yard line. Well, they had to go for it, but they don't make it. Yeah, but I like the call. They needed to do whatever they could to get back in this ball game. Too bad it didn't work out the way they wanted it to. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. Oregon sets up in the eye. Back to pass. He's looking for his man. Tipped away. And the corner got in there and broke that one up. And second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Number 12 with three wide receivers. tackled at the 31 yard line the fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard it's third down and nine to go ball on the 31 yard line number 12 comes to the line with three wide Back to pass. Looking. Steps up in the pocket. Throws it deep downfield. And down he goes at the five. Oh, my. What do you think of that one, Kirk? Boy, I'll tell you what. The quarterback delivered a perfect pass on that play and gave them more than enough for the first down. Here's another look, Coach. Yo, check out this pass. That kid sees an open man right there and just zips it to him. Good pass. Nice catch, too. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. Number 32, the ball carrier. They'll bring him down at the one-yard line. A four-yard pickup by the fullback. Right. 
Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. He drops back under pressure. Let's it fly. Swatted away. And that one was oh so close. Close call is right. If he just put a little bit more touch on the ball, that would have been a big play. But let's give credit to the linebacker. That was an athletic play there by the defense. Let's see if they can punch this one in. They'll run the option. Touchdown, Ducks. How about that one? Now, the fullback does a great job here of powering that one in for the score. Let's look at that run again. Nice job up front by the offensive line. Watch the offensive line hold onto their blocks, creating a nice big lane for the back to run through. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just over three minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, the score is Oregon 20, Marshall 3. Oregon to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. Number 11 fields it in the end zone. Take over at the 20 yard line. They come out with four wide out. Number seven drops back. Let's it go. And it's incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Second and ten. Ball on their own 20. Number seven lines up in the shotgun. Number seven drops back to pass. Guns it across the middle, and it's knocked away. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and is get his hand on it. It's third down and ten. Ball on the 20. They'll bring in their dime package. Number seven, back to pass. Throws it out there. Number 24, knocks it away. And he did a nice job breaking up that pass. Well, he did a great job here of not risking a big gain. Instead, he just batted it down. It's fourth down and 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Fourth and a long shot. Back to pass. Looks, he lets it go. Complete, number 31 with a takedown at the 31-yard line. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. First and 10. This is the fifth play of this drive. Going with the shotgun here. Number seven steps back to pass. Number 40 with a catch. Talk about a throw. Does this kid have an arm or what? I'm telling you, this thing is like a laser beam coming out of his hand. Boy, you're right. What a cannon this young man's got. Fires across the middle. Number 13 has it. How about this quarterback, Lee? This kid's been outstanding all year long. That throw right there not only puts him over 4,000 yards passing for the year, it might well win him the Heisman Trophy. Number seven drops to throw. He passes it, and it's caught for the touchdown. Guys, the coaches have got to be happy with that one. Yeah, you know they are. Anytime a play works to perfection like that one did, you know they're smiling. Just watching this receiver and quarterback play together is a treat. They're a great combo.
And he hits the PAT. So with just over two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, our score, Marshall 10, Oregon 20. Marshall is lining up for the onside kick here. Here goes nothing. They were really hoping to get the ball back there. Well, now they have to call on their defense to make something happen. They need a big play right here to get that ball back. They'll start this drive at the 39-yard line. Marshall lines up defensively in a 4-3. Two, gets it on the counter. He's hit and got away. Time and time again, you see the team that's winning is usually the team that's able to control the line of scrimmage. Here, they again get a nice push, and the result was a solid run. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42. The Ducks come out in a two tight end set. Number two takes the handoff, and he's taken down at the 42. Didn't get anything. The thundering herd call for a timeout, and they've got two remaining. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 42. Marshall comes out in a 4-3. A handoff. He juked. Number two brings him down at the 39-yard line. The defense calls a timeout. That was their second timeout. They're down in seven. Ball on the 39-yard line. They come out with a big set. Number 12 drops back. He steps up. He's under pressure. Number 15 hangs on to it. Nice game, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. Fourth and one coming up there in field goal range. They put everyone up on the line. On the ground, up the middle. Number 25 with a takedown at the 28-yard line. They get what they need, and that is a huge fourth down conversion. Brad, this is just a really great job by the old line. They got a good push on that play. Nice job. First and ten. Sixth play of this drive coming up. Oregon comes out with an eye formation. Well, gives it up the middle, breaks one. There's a flag on the play, and down he goes at the 19-yard line. Got an inner brace mask, mask, mask on the defense. On the defense. Five yards, Five yards first down. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 14-yard line. They come out with four linebackers. Number 12 gives it up the middle. They'll bring him down at the nine-yard line. The defense calls a timeout. And that was their third and final timeout. They line up in an eye. Hand off up the middle. And he's taken down at the nine-yard line. No gain. Right. 
Marshall lines up defensively in a 4-3. Little handoff. Little shake and bake move. He tries to spin. Number 59 brings him down at the one. What a run on third down. You know, we're always talking about the importance of converting on third down. If you're going to have any kind of success, you got to be able to keep these drives alive like they did right there. They're crowding the line. And that's the end of the ball game. Girk, what'd you think of this one? It was a good game, but I'm sure there's a little disappointment down there. Marshall had a few missed opportunities in this game. And I think if they could have capitalized on a few of them, it would have been a lot closer, and they might even have won this game. Well, that'll wrap up another chapter in NCAA Football 2003. And again, our final score, Oregon 20, Marshall 10. So for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye, everybody, and thanks for tuning in. Castro Mendes has won the Indianapolis 500. New world champion. Are you kidding me? Best final round ever on the season. That is picture perfect. The tradition continues. Sports' biggest event right here. This is ABC Sports Championship Television.